All right, guys, we are back with another updated tutorial on how to do these Grand Theft Auto 5 models because I have a lot of requests for them and I just want to make a nice, simple tutorial on how to do these without saying um 5,000 times. So, with that being said, what I'm going to do is import my model. And before I, before I even made this model, or imported it here, what I did was I sized it exactly to the same size as the Baltic 2 or whatever whatever mod you're using. You need to, you know, uh, scale your mesh exactly to the size of whatever your mod is. So when you import it, it has the you know fairly the same uh, structure. So for this, you just I'll just start from zero. So we're gonna we're gonna import the mod, and I got a whole bunch of stuff here. This is actually my chassis. So we have a whole bunch of stuff here, and all these names do actually correspond to stuff. So it, you know if you have a bonnet, that is actually gonna be the bonnet. Um, the steering wheel. That's actually a node for the steering wheel. So you gotta watch out when you name this stuff because it actually does correspond to stuff in the game. You just have to know what's what and just look at certain mods and, and um, figure out what it is. Because you can actually make these mods upgradable in the game instead of just, you know, giving yourself the mod. But once your mod's imported and everything's named properly, you want to import the, the mod again. Well, it should have been named properly from the beginning. So you don't get all confused. I just I haven't worked on this one in a while, so okay. So there's that. Now what can I call this dummy? Just so we don't get confused here. Now what you do is you take all these and you right click and convert to dummy node. And now if we deselect this Vaultic here, you see how we got a whole bunch of dummy nodes in here that's what we need so for the chassis pull it up here and you want to convert to compound which is always default layer all nodes all go in default this is how it's going to have to read um if you don't have it in default something's gonna break or your game's gonna crash it's, it has to be in a default layer I think I have imported a couple that weren't in a default layer and they do still work, but they're they're broken. It's 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 all just messed up. So once you got in default layer, you want to lock the node and then select level zero, then drag in the mesh. Then you'll see level zero now has the mesh. Deselect, unlock, and now your mesh is in the hierarchy correctly. And you want to do this to all, all these meshes. So it, it just keep. I usually keep this down here, and then just convert, lock, level zero, drag in the mesh, unlock, bam. Just keep doing that throughout this whole thing. And this is just so your your nodes are in the correct spots, because this game is very tedious with how your nodes are placed and if there's one thing off it is going to bug this whole thing out so gauges and you see it's just real simple just just lock the nodes drag in the mesh to zero one oops i did that wrong i accidentally did mod and you definitely don't want to drag in the wrong part so that's hubby to lock zero hub yeah there and then unlock almost done guys interior but pretty much this is the most crucial step is locking Level zero, unlock. 
that's pretty much the most vital step here. And body shell and decals. Bonita. Oh, no, don't want to do that. I'm on windscreen F. Headlights are. Uh -huh. And depending on your mesh, you can convert or merge parts. Just you want to have a nice body shell. I actually made this mod, so it's probably not the best. I could have probably cut it up, and it don't have doors. So that's another tutorial I have to show you on actually how to place doors correctly, because those can be a pain too. Those are just about as hard as the wheels. So lock it in. Somehow I missed headlight L. So if I ever do this, lock it in and then drag it in. See? That easy. So that was all that. Now we can see our car is in a nice hierarchy. And everything's looking pretty good so far. So now we can take all this out of the dummy and drop it into this chassis. Same with the wheel LF. This is the old dummy node. We don't need that. And now we have a nice structure. That's our actual wheel. So this we can just call wheel LF. So we know it's the dummy node. Okay. And then now for the now comes the wheels. So for this import there's a lot of stuff this can be frustrating but I what I found to be the best is just import your mesh with the wheels already in place so you can just convert the wheels to the nodes and then you can um, there's collision dummies that you need to have in place and you can lock them or copy the collision dummy nodes to the wheels if that makes sense because there is a lot of nodes here that need that you need to have um let me let me show you here so pretty much we did all these and we need these two down here i'm not too sure what they are but I think they are needed. I've I think I've made a couple without them, and it, it might have broke. And see, yeah, with these doors, see, you have a handle. You always need a handle, or the door's not going to open. And then they, had, they actually added this door light thing. And um, oh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you got to take into consideration for these doors. Um, see right there's the mesh and actually if you look at the um, this node right here this door side F if we scroll in on the node the node is actually a cylinder and this is for rotation so whatever way this cylinder is is the way that the door is going to rotate that's why it uses these everything else is a square but for the doors, they're special because they they have access and they can only go, you know, you can actually mod your door to have like Lambo doors. You know, you just tilt these at a 45 degree angle and the car doors are open like Lambo doors. Same with this node right here. This is some sort of overheat and that node is burning out out the left hand side of the, of the truck or the exhaust there. So when it's on fire, like it's going to spit out this way. You can make flames go this way. I mean, it's just however you want to do it. But these require these nodes. If you try to use anything else besides these cylinder nodes, it is not going to happen. I can almost guarantee you it'll break or your door just won't open at all. So 
for them, I'll have to go through another tutorial on just doors, because that that is seriously a tutorial in itself. Uh, my autosave feature just bugged out my program, I think. No, I'm still here. Okay. All right. So now that we got that and all that, we can delete the imported. And now you can see we have a nice little model here with all of our nodes. And you want to move these into position. What I suggest how you do it is you bring up level zero. And you you can select on these, and I, I it's hard to do because you can't select. A, see how you can't select a node that's over top? Is this program is just ridiculous? You can't you can't grab um, something that's over top of something. You have to hide it. So for this, it's the body shell. Oh, it's body shell one. Maybe if I do body shell. See, and now we can take this little thing. Oh, but if I go to move, now we can take this little thing and, and move it around. And this would be the tail light L, or no, this is the engine. So what you want to do is you want to take this and then put it back here where the engine is, or you know, wherever your engine is or your car. Same with the, the seat. You know, where, where he sits, you want to move that into position. Um, and that's pretty much the, the nodes. I mean, there's, it's really self-explanatory on these. You don't really have to do too much moving around. But with this wheel node, let's get to this here, because this is going to be a, a discussion. So with this wheel node... If we dismiss this, this is the old one, and we go to this collision, you see how we have a bounding box around our car? Well, this bounding box is very important. Actually, my wheel's sticking out of the bounding box, which is not good. But with this bounding box, what you, what you need to do is, with these collisions, they have to be going right over top of the mesh. You see how it's... Because that this is where the game is going to know, hey, this is a tire and it's hitting something and it's spinning and it's it's got you know it's got collision. It's it's really it's really different than a collision mesh because you see we have a collision mesh here, but these are collision nodes, and they're going to tell the game, hey, it's crashing into something, you know, so. Uh, with these, it's it can be pretty rough trying to figure out you know how how to place these. But the easiest way I found is you just move them into place. So, what do I mean? Well, right here is our wheel mesh, and right here is our wheel mesh to our actual car. So we don't need this. We can delete, and then this one will come into that hierarchy and what you want to do is uh, wheel collision oh, I wonder why I have a oh, low level uh, what you want to do is take this and highlight these two nodes. And you see how I have both of them circled or highlighted here? And then you want to lock it on the Z axis. Nope, nope, not the Z. You want to lock it on the X axis, maybe? No? Huh, that was Z. Dang it. And yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, 
x. Okay. I mean, it's gonna be rough with these because I usually use this tool right here. It copies local access from one node to another. But I was having issues um, in the last video that I was trying to do with moving these nodes into place. And I'm having actually the same issue here where it's, hold on. What do I, move properties, move accesses only. Don't affect children. Okay. <laughs> There's just a lot of things in here. You have one depth. I want to make sure you deselect that affect children button. I have no idea why that would even be something that would be close. But uh, you want to get that mesh right over top of, or that collision right over top of your tire. Same with the other side. Just get it, just get it close. Uh, scale if you have to. Um, I usually don't. I usually try to just get this perfect because the more you try to figure this out, the harder it's going to get. <laughs> so, again, with the back wheels, um, for this, just go to this. And it can be a little tricky. I just try to just get it as close as I can. I mean, it, it does not have to be anywhere perfect, but at least just try to get it close. And that looks fairly good. Oops. Maybe right there. I'll take that. All right, so now our wheels are in place, collisions are in place. Last is the textures. So right here, that requires this Pokeball. And this are all the old textures that we had. So we can delete these. And right here is all the textures that were on my car. When I when I, when you import your mod, you want to make sure whatever textures or whatever layers use that texture are called that. So you don't want to have default in the name. You want to you want to have something that is a name to something. So your your this can reference it in something. Because if not, you will have to apply textures manually to the mesh which i could probably show you how but this is it's just a lot easier if you just start with a nice a nice model already with the textures already named so i want to remove all these and i'm going to add in my textures and sorry i'm right in the middle of exporting some stuff so people are probably wondering what the heck's going on um Where's it at? Master textures. Box six. Then, and then import every, each one of these. You'll have to add. You know, if you want to do like emissive channels and stuff, I'll show you on one. But you want to take all these, highlight them, hit this little like a shader earth thing. And you want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, Generic, and this is Vehicle Generic. Just, just, just for now. I mean, there's different things for different cars, but for now, we're just going to use the Vehicle Generic. And uh, let's say for details, I think this one I have a Luminous Channel on. Yeah, I do. So right there's details, and then if you want a luminous channel, you go down here to mass, and you add in the luminous channel. Come back up here to the top, to this emissive, tick this box, and it's mass by channel, and then do mass, and increase that uh, emissive. And you can see here in my texture that now it's actually glowing. So that's how you can do emissive channels. Um, and then glass for this one, it's special too. 
for this one, you need to go to vehicle generic, vehicle glass, and for the outer, you need to put vehicle glass, and for the inner, it's vehicle glass inner. Because if not, you won't be able to look through the the mesh because mesh is only you know one sided with culling, so you're actually not seeing the inside unless you have an interior mesh. But that should work for that. And now that we have all of them imported, you know we imported all the textures. Everything's ready to go. Um, everything looks good. Now it's uh, pretty much time to export at this point. So what you do is you want to just go up here to export. Well, uh, let's put that wheel, that wheel in there. Um, now that the wheel's in place and everything's set, you just lock it on level zero or on default level zero. Oops. Hell if I lock in the default layer and then put the wheel on level zero, now it's done. So uh, with that, you want to export and you want to name your file the same thing that is up here in this name. It could be anything, but it has to match that name exactly. So Waltic two high and export and see it'll export correctly with all well I'm missing all my you know shaders and all my stuff but um, that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you uh, do a mod from scratch and you know do a couple test runs with it see you know what's bugging see what you got to fix but that's pretty much the um, the rundown of how you do that so hopefully this helps and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the server and I'll do another follow-up tutorial on how to do um, doors and how to do what else is I going to do? Oh, yeah, characters. So that's coming soon. So see you later, guys.